All right, thank you, Brian. The housing market took off during the pandemic with homes selling thousands of dollars above asking price. We're two years into the pandemic now, so how does the housing market look? Two News reporter Riley Phillips is digging deeper after talking with local realtors. The housing market is still booming across the Miami Valley with homes selling quickly and getting multiple offers. 2020 was a record year for real estate. I'm a Daytonian, lived here all my life, and we have never seen a market like this. Homes were flying off the market at prices well above asking. We saw a jump in the cash offers. We saw uh, multiple bidding wars almost always. Houses were on the market for hours in some cases. And that has not changed now two years into the pandemic. Inventory is still low. According to Billy Duncan Hart, the president of Dayton Realtors, less than 1,000 homes are on the market right now in the Dayton area, something she says is unheard of. That's what makes it so difficult, as, and especially if you're in a first-time buyer price range. As soon as that, that property hits the market, the sellers are having a flood of people taking a look at them, multiple offers. Some people, a lot of people, are putting an offer sight unseen. Local realtors don't see that momentum slowing down for the start of 2022, even with the Federal Reserve considering an increase to interest rates. Unless we get uh, a large supply showing up this spring, um, I don't think much is going to change. You're still going to have to be competitive. You're still going to have to be prepared. Um, and ready to fight for a house. And if you are looking to buy a home right now, experts tell me it's important to be extremely organized because you're going to be competing with a lot of people. Reporting in Centerville, Riley Phillips, 2 News, working for you.